What about a woman that wants to be the big spoon? Do you give her this pleasure every once in a while? Never. If you want to keep her, don't feed her dominant tendencies. It'll destroy the sexual polarity between you two. She'll start to look down on you. <laughs> that is so confusing and sad. I feel like this is the exact same energy as guys that don't wipe their butts because they're too manly. Like, in no way I'm gonna let a woman be the big spoon. I am always the big spoon <laughs> because I'm a man. Also, imagine a relationship fails and you're like, oh, you know what? I think this all traces back to when she was the big spoon. Ruined my entire relationship. Oh, by the way, I was being sarcastic. Guys, we're here again. <laughs> I feel like I'm always making an Are The Straits OK video. Eating. No, making an Are The Straits OK video. Like, I feel like we're always on this subreddit. And I'm not complaining, by the way. I'm very excited for this video, but maybe this subreddit is just more memorable than the other subreddits. Or maybe my brain is broken. So yeah, we're back again today. And welcome back, by the way. We're gonna try to answer the age-old question today. Are the straights okay? Probably not very okay. And also, I didn't want to draw attention to it, but this right here is BS. Like, why do things just pop up on your face <laughs> out of nowhere? It's simply not okay. Why do women live a better, longer, and peaceful life as compared to men? A very intelligent student replied, because women don't have a wife? <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. Wife is bad, apparently. I was literally watching somebody talk about this today. They were saying that they have friends that just can't wait to get away from their wives and they were like why you know i love spending time with them because i love them it's kind of scary that this attitude is so normal and not only normal but really common yeah so are the straights okay sometimes wow another kid shirt nice boobs can i try one <laughs> so funny i'm sure they really want to wear that shirt and it's not the parents that put that on them. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, I'd be mad too if I was forced to marry someone that I give no fricks about. Yeah, welcome to my world. To be honest, you'll start to love her anyway when you're married. Yeah, you'll eventually learn to love that person. Why should you learn to love somebody? <laughs> That's like when somebody eats something super gross and they're like, oh no, it's an acquired taste. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't like this food okay. I don't want to acquire a taste. You know, like, oh, I'm gonna put time and effort into learning to like this food that I don't like. <laughs> no, probably not. But yeah, that's a super weird mindset. I don't really know what they mean. Are they saying that if you spend enough time with somebody that you'll love them? Like, it's true to a degree, but it's not the same as if you actually love somebody. Teaching your girl to be a man isn't good parenting. Teach her to be an obedient wife. Yeah, I'm not being sarcastic either. Wow. <laughs> Imagine thinking that you should teach somebody to be obedient. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> and the title says it was a comment left on a video of a little girl helping to fix a fence. So because they want to fix a fence, you think that's not okay because fixing a fence is being a man? Man, and they should instead be obedient. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. Here we have a male human infant practicing the very battle that he'll pursue for the remainder of his adult life. Ha ha ha, yeah. Like maybe they just love cats. There are so many wholesome comments here. It's true though. I'm a 35 year old male and I'll never not try to play with a kitten. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, this one's adorable 
terrible depending on how you think about it. Why did you go to a bowl with a man that you had no sexual interest in? No man truly wants to be just a friends with a woman. Um, you can go party with women without sexual interest. That's called having friends and not being a creepy a-hole. <laughs> a little secret. Men don't want to be friends with women. There are no male friends. There are only friend-zoned losers and beta males. Does a male lion have female friends? Name one male species on the planet that just wants to be friends with his female counterpart. Yeah, this is the same thing that we read all the time, every single day. You know, like, oh, this is the way that I think it is, so that must mean that that's the way it actually is. Nah. <laughs> just because in your opinion, you don't think that men and women can be just friends? Doesn't mean that it's actually true though. And also not to mention friend zoned losers and beta males. <laughs> yeah, um, I think we've read enough of this. Yeah, I'm gonna move on because I'm not alpha enough. Or you could just be in love with your partner and whoever makes the money makes the money. In a partnership you share duties. This whole time you fail to mention love as the aspect that makes a relationship successful? Love is obviously not enough and means nothing in marriage. I hear people say they fall in and out of love all the time. And love comes and goes. Sounds very unstable. Marriage is about duty, responsibility and obligation. Fully grown mature adults understand this. Wow, reminds me of that Simpsons episode where Homer's like, Marge and I have a healthy marriage built on a foundation of routine. A strong marriage built on a solid foundation of routine. Yeah, like, you know, you can sort of understand what they're saying a little bit. But to say that love is nothing in a marriage is ridiculous. Like, obviously, there's more to any relationship than love. But to say that it isn't important is crazy. <laughs> like, obviously it is. You have to love the person that you're with. You know, like, if they were saying, you know, sometimes I forget about, you know, the love in our marriage because I get caught up with the duty and responsibility and obligations. And I really, you know, want to focus more on the love and how much I love my partner. You're like, yeah, sure. But that's not what they're saying. They're like, nah, you don't need to be in love. Welcome to the man cave. Rules, no females allowed. Enter at your own risk. What happens in the man cave stays in the man cave. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you talking about backdoor shenanigans? I feel bad for putting a third Simpsons clip in the video, but, you know, I kinda have to. Sorry, Mr. Burns, but I don't go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Sure, I'm flattered, maybe even a little curious. But the answer is no. Marriage is like a walk in the park. Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know, like, at least that one's a little bit clever and a little bit creative. You know, like, A for effort, but at the same time, no. <laughs> Not okay. You know, like, I get it. Not everybody's gonna have a perfect, happy marriage. But that doesn't mean you should completely give up and act like this is the way that it should be. Eating at a restaurant by myself before I go to see my girlfriend so I don't have to buy her food. Right, so if you go and see your girlfriend and you're hungry and you go to get food, you're worried that you're going to have to pay for their food as well? Is this one of those situations where you shouldn't be making a TikTok, you should be having a conversation with your girlfriend? Have I got this right? They're not comfortable paying for their partner's meals all the time? Like, if that's really an issue for you, you you need to talk to her about it. This adjustable bed allows for optimal sleep comfort and it throws their partner out of the bed. Um, do you take checks? Nah, like this is really funny if you're somebody who wakes up when the person next to you moves around. You know, like I don't think this is necessarily toxic, is it? I feel like they just don't sleep very well next to somebody. Cause that's a real thing. Like if you have a really crappy mattress, you'll wake up at any 
time the other person moves. 100%. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this one is bad and I'm just trying way too hard to be optimistic. I feel like I do that sometimes. Like I see something that isn't there. My wife and I have the cutest nicknames for each other. She's my buttercup and I'm her useless sack of crap. <laughs> yeah, um, the only thing about this one is it's so sad if you see somebody posting this. Like, oh, yeah, funny, but there's underlying truth here and it's really sad. When I get mad at you, you never fight back. How do you control your anger? I go and clean the toilet. How does that help? I use your toothbrush? Ha, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> just imagining brushing my teeth with a toothbrush that's been used to clean the toilet? Yeah, <laughs> nah. Okay, so I've already sort of started reading this one and <laughs> I'm gonna read it fast and then the video is over, okay? Daddy likes when mummy wets the bed, but I get in trouble when I do it. Yeah, <laughs> gross and goodbye are the straights, okay? That's enough for today. This is not wholesome enough for my liking. My son asked for a new Xbox controller for Christmas. I didn't think about why he needed a new one until he opened it up and got all excited because now his sister could play games with him. He didn't want the controller for himself. He wanted it so they could play together. Oh yeah, that's really sweet. Oh, this subreddit is so much easier to read. I know I keep saying it, but we're gonna have to do an entirely wholesome memes episode. It'd be so cute. One time a customer in Starbucks asked me to help him text this girl that he really liked so he could ask her out. He asked if I wanted to see a photo of her and I said yes obviously. And he turned the phone around and the camera was facing me. Honestly, best work I've ever seen. Wow, that's adorable. They're still calling them a customer. When you're in bed and your charger too far away from the floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so damn cute. I love cats so much. And yeah, that's a very, very relatable I do this every night. And just like that, it's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time today. The comment of the day today goes to Kirby B Nails. Vincy, you are not old, but if it makes you feel better, I've had white hairs since I was 23. Thank you so much for your videos and wonderfully positive attitude. First of all, thank you for that comment. That makes me so happy and I'm so glad you liked the videos. But thank you for the support on me seeing a grey hair in my hair. Not only this comment, but we got so many awesome supportive comments about that, and I really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, even though I'm 23, when I see a grey hair, I'll try not to think I'm old. So yeah, I really appreciate this. And thank you for watching my videos and all your support. It means so much to me. And these videos are way too fun for me not to be positive in them. I don't think I could not be positive if I tried. Okay, I'm out of here. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time.